Today, millions of people are receiving antiretroviral medicines to treat HIV infections. But due to various challenges, not everyone is taking their medication regularly. This is causing the HIV virus to become resistant to the most effective and affordable medicines. As a consequence, the virus stops responding to existing treatment. HIV drug resistance threatens the world meeting the 1990-90 targets to ensure that 90% of people receiving HIV treatment achieve suppression of the virus in their blood by 2020. WHO's 2017 report on HIV drug resistance shows that drug resistance in people starting HIV treatment has reached high levels in a number of countries. Six of 11 surveyed countries reported HIV drug resistance above 10% in people starting HIV treatment. The issue seriously affects the lives of so many people and is unacceptable. I'm a person who has lived with HIV since 1994, and then I started my treatment in 1998. But because of challenges, I quickly had HIV drug resistance. As a minor, Kigungu cannot collect his own medicines his grandmother often failed to get them on time, resulting in poor adherence to treatment. He developed HIV drug resistance. Kigungu now needs third-line treatment due to HIV drug resistance. Both his parents died. This young boy wants to live like other children in the world. WHO is issuing a three-part package to guide global action to address resistance. A new global report summarizing current knowledge about resistance levels in countries. A new guideline recommending specific actions to respond to high-level resistance and a five-year global action plan to engage all stakeholders and encourage collective actions to prevent, monitor and respond to HIV drug assistance. When a country identifies its gaps in service delivery, quick action is critical. The new WHO guidelines recommend that when resistance levels in people who are not on therapy reach 10%, Countries should urgently consider change in medicines in the first-line treatment. The Global Action Plan provides a framework for action for all stakeholders over the next five years to monitor, prevent and respond to HIV drug resistance. This includes five areas for joint action by global partners. Improving prevention and response, ensuring monitoring and surveillance, supporting research and innovation, strengthening laboratory capacity, and reinforcing governance and enabling mechanisms. Funds addressing the HIV epidemic need to be spent in a responsible, effective and sustainable manner. The need to support the development and implementation of national HIV drug resistance strategies is a core component of HIV treatment programs. The WHO's new report, Guidelines and Global Action Plan, show that HIV drug resistance is a real threat. We must act now to improve quality in the delivery of HIV treatment. This, combined with the introduction of new, safe and effective medicines, can help us curb HIV drug resistance and achieve the global targets to end AIDS and save lives.